Okay, we're here at Emerson College. Uh, we're ready for the film debut of Jay Giannone. Uh, it snows all the time. There's Kenny. There it is. Up, Ken. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, you do anybody. the film, you have to do everything, including You do. Up you got to put in ten times the work. Not only... We don't have Paramount Pictures here doing all the work. Right, we got to do the work ourselves. That's, what, that's the way it works. That's so part of the come up. <laughs> we, get, we get by with a little help from our friends. You know, we're putting up some posters for Jay Janona's film, Snows, all the time. So this yeah. is what you do, you know? And you know what? I enjoy it. I do whatever it takes. Really, whatever it takes. This is what you had to do when you were making the movie, too. I would pull cable. I would do any and everything that I could. Because this movie's important. This is a serious, serious subject matter. I did. Best of luck, Jay, and uh, looking forward to see the film. Congratulations, Jay, on your, your debut uh, film, and looking forward to seeing more projects from you. Awesome. Congratulations, Jay. Congratulations, welcome back to Boston. It's always great to have you here. Tell us what it was like. Usually you're in front of the camera, now you're behind the camera and everything that goes right. with it. Tell us a little about the movie, um, how it evolved. Well, the movie evolved. I met a kid in church, basically, and he told me his dad had Alzheimer's disease. And I uh, was dealing with the frontal lobes, which is uh, considered as frontal frontotemporal dementia. So I started to do a lot of research um, to write the script. And we based a lot of it on Erikova's family. Mm -hmm. And my writing partner, Eric Watson's grandfather, had the disease also. So mixed with some creativity and um, some true events and true stories and doing the research, we were able to come up with a cool script that we all agreed on and that we liked, raised the money to make some offers to some big actors like Leslie Ann Warren and Taryn right. Manning. Um, well, we were fortunate to have her and everybody else in. Very, else very. In the movie. I know your mom's got a short piece. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm place. still trying to direct part? him okay. unsuccessfully. Oh, I think you're doing pretty well. However, um, it's, it was um, really not the first time. It was the second time that he directed me uh, because he actually wrote and produced another film called Scalpers. Right, which I was at. Yeah. So it was great. great I, I was Sophia in that. So it was the second time, and I enjoyed very much working with him. He really surprised me. And wow. I was amazed at his knowledge and his professionalism. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we have Brett Cullen, who is amazing in the movie. He plays the dad with the ailing disease, and he was wonderful to work with. He's very talented, and it was a pleasure to have him. Uh, Leslie Ann Warren. Taryn Manning from Orange is the New Black, mm -hmm. Sterling Knight from the ABC show, Melissa and Joey. We have John Beasley, Tatiana Ali. Um, who am I forgetting? Hi, how are you? And I'm uh, very happy for you, Jay, and very excited for you. Absolutely. Hey, Jay, congratulations. Yes, and I'm keeping the One reason they came, because out of all, I get trailers all the time mm -hmm. from different people. And most of the time, they can't direct the way out of a paper bag. Mm -hmm. But I saw this trailer, and I said, okay, there's a director in the house. Great. So for me, it's like, okay, if the guy can direct, then it's worth coming to see the film. You really need to start chipping in around here. You know what? I think I've lost my appetite. How long did it take from A to Z? Oh, took two years. From just the... Uh... From the idea, yeah. I wrote the script in like six months with Eric Watson. He was a winner of the Sundance Film Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, he produced a movie called Pi. He's a wonderful writer, great producer. And basically um, wrote the script in about six months, raised the money over a year and a half, mm -hmm. shot the film in 17 days, which is extremely hard. I'm shooting the Boston Marathon movie right now with Mark Wahlberg. We have 44 days on the movie. Right. It's and enough time. In a much bigger budget. Bigger budget, more time to do what you need, more resources. You know, I made two short films early on and one feature, mm -hmm. and I learned something. Uh, just because you make a feature film, it doesn't mean that the movie's going to come out in a the theater or even get a DVD deal. <laughs> Star power is very important, and I realized that it's extremely important if you want to get a message out such as Alzheimer's. Big moment for my dad. Uh, I know he's worked real hard. This movie's about Alzheimer's. I could have made a bank robber movie. I could have made a comedy. I could have made any movie I wanted. I just want to say thank you again for everyone coming out. And you can welcome now the director, producer, and writer, Jay Jaron.
This movie was important to me because it was for a cause, and I was able to help, and I was able to give back, and that meant a lot to me. Man.